Armor Paint is a standalone node-based software designed for physically based texture painting and rendering, also known as PBR. All you have to do is drag and drop a 3D model into the application and start painting. As you paint, you will receive instant visual feedback in the viewport window. Using a node-based workflow, you can create fully procedural material patterns and brushes. Armor Paint is designed from scratch to run completely on the GPU. This results in a smooth 4K painting experience on medium-powered integrated GPU hardware and up to 16K texture painting on high-end graphics cards. Armor Paint is basically a substitute for Adobe's Substance Painter. Substance Painter can only be used through a subscription model where you essentially pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars per year to rent it. The nice thing about Armor Paint is that you can own it for as little as free. By downloading the raw files, you can actually compile them yourself. Every time a new version comes out, you simply download and recompile. If you're like me and you're not tech savvy enough to do this yourself, then you can do what I did. That is, buy the already compiled version for the low price of 16 euros, which at the time that I bought it was 1785 USD. This allows you to get every update of Armor Paint compiled and ready to use for the rest of your life for free. The person who created this application is a one-man operation, so I didn't mind spending a little money to help him continue the project. Let's jump in and take a look. When you first open Armor Paint, you are presented with this interface. You have a viewer window, you have a layer window, you have your materials and brushes, and you have your textures. Over on the left-hand side, you have your various tools, and of course, you have your standard windows menus on top. It is simple enough to drag and drop a model into the interface and immediately be able to see it. By right-clicking, you can orbit around, and by middle-clicking, you can pan. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. The real power of this, though, is in the paintbrushes themselves. This tool is the paintbrush tool, and you can immediately start painting with it. This is the erase tool, and you can use that to erase what you've painted. This is a fill tool, which fills everything. This is a decal sticker, and let me just change the color. There's your decal, and of course you have a text tool as well. If I hit different hotkeys, we'll get me to different looking locations here, and I can just place that on in that manner. The real power of this, though, is in creating your own materials and paintbrushes. For example, if I use these medieval wood textures, whether it's diffuse, normal, and specular, I can then create a new paintbrush, and I can drag and drop these in, connecting them into the base paintbrush that creates the material. This is a normal map. And I'm just going to plug in the specular into the metallic for now. Now I can go ahead and paint on my texture that I have created here. If I add a new layer, then I can go ahead and create a different blend mode and make it a little bit different of a color. Perhaps I will fill this in. And then on this one, I can add a little more stain to it. Let's say I wanted to create another paintbrush. And let's say that that paintbrush, I wanted to be mud. We'll just drag these three textures in. And then we will go ahead and plug those in as well. And now I can say creating a new layer, put some mud on that as well. And you can see how quickly and easy it is to be able to paint your textures directly on. 
These can be turned on and off. They can be manipulated to be moved up and down, and they can be used to create all kinds of different textures. For example, I might decide that I want to use a textured texture, in which case then I might plug that into the base color. And now when I go to paint, I am creating a checkerboard of texture, much like you'll see in Blender. Next time, I'm going to dive deeper into these other tools and show exactly how these can be created to build an entire model with its textures completed and bring it into HitFilm. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Do me a favor and like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.